generally, when people think about airports, they tend to think about the eight or nine hundred big city airports and the huge jet airliners carrying passengers and freight. There are, however, about 11,000 other airports in America which are used by smaller aircraft. It is such aircraft which accounts for three out of every four flight operations one sees on airports today. The sign over this small terminal building says, Welcome to Paso Robles. That's what we hope to do with this film. Welcome you to Paso Robles and its airport. We'll use a small aircraft part of the time to show you our airport, our city, and some of the surrounding area. As we taxi out to the runway for takeoff, we can tell you that this airport has only recently been taken over by the city and a program for its future development is just beginning. Only a small portion of our main runway is needed for our takeoff. You pilots, we are sure, will be happy to see such a good and unobstructed climb out area. We are now flying parallel to the main north-south runway. The air is a little bumpy but perhaps you can see that all buildings, ramp areas, and facilities are at present on the west side of the airport. From this point just south of the airport, we have a good view of a second northwest and southeast runway. Here again, pilots may appreciate the nearly level ground in the immediate vicinity of the airport and the unobstructed landing and takeoff areas for this runway. This is a simple diagram of the airport layout. The runway numbered 19 and 1 is designated as the instrument runway. It is 6,000 feet long and 150 feet wide. Three taxiways lead from it to the various facilities on the airport. The second runway, numbered 31 and 13, is 4,700 feet long by 150 feet wide. Two taxiways offer access to and from this runway. The boundaries of the airport include over 1,000 acres of land. About 200 acres of land in the northwest corner of the airport have just been set aside as industrial and commercial lease sites. Some sites will have taxiways to runways and others will have roads to the highways. Should future development require it, some 300 more acres on the south side of the airport are also available for industrial and commercial use. Access to runways and roads will be available from this area. There it is, Paso Robles Municipal Airport, home for two fixed base aviation companies and many privately owned aircraft. A safe haven for all who fly in this area. The city of Paso Robles may be seen five miles to the west of the airport. Let's take a good look at the city from the air. Nestled up against the hills, it offers much to the visitor, the resident, and to the members of any new industries which may in the future be located on our airport. Rich in the lore of early Spanish days, the city has kept its original name, El Paso de Robles, which means the Pass of Oak. Early Franciscan fathers chose a romantic name for a romantic setting. The city is now commonly known as Paso Robles. At this time of the year, 
almond blossoms cover the trees on the hundreds of acres of orchards in and about the city. Paso Robles is halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco on Highway 101. 16 million people live in an area within a few hours driving time and a very short flying time from this uncrowded city of 8,000 people. The north flowing Salinas River divides the city, but not its people. Attractive bridges over the river permits the easy flow of east-west surface traffic. The city is 17 air miles east of the Pacific Ocean and is 720 feet above sea level. It has many benefits from the cool ocean air. Characteristically, the area has warm, dry days and cool evenings. The humidity is quite low, and the average annual rainfall is 15 to 18 inches. Let's take a closer look at ground level as the camera zooms into the center of town. A city hall of modest size provides offices for the various city services and chambers for the governing council. The city was incorporated in 1889 and operates under a general law type of government controlled and administered by a mayor and council members directing a city manager. Several citizens' committees assist the council in its deliberations. The city center business streets reflect an old-time Western influence. They are wide and clean and offer people very easy shopping arrangements. There is not a single parking meter in the whole city to discourage the local people or the many, many ranchers who come to town to shop from a wide area around Paso Robles. Branches of California's principal banks serve the needs of our people, our business houses, and our industries. New buildings are usually designed to enhance our western atmosphere. Paso Robles is unique in that this is our shopping center. When people go to town to shop, this is it. It looks now very much as it did many, many years ago. Old timers and newcomers say they like it this way. Tourists, visitors, and people who reside here love this big old fashioned park right in the center of the downtown business section. Picnic tables, fireplaces, and a huge barbecue pit make this park a pleasant civic center for everyone to enjoy. Some of this park is set aside as a playground for the tiny tots. Other parks and playgrounds and a large municipal swimming pool provide for the recreational needs of our younger citizens. The Paso Robles Library is in the center of the park. 28,000 volumes are available to its more than 5,000 patrons. The library is convenient to shoppers and students, and its style of architecture is in harmony with other buildings of the downtown section. The education of the young people of Paso Robles is assured by the operation of one high school four elementary schools, and three parochial schools. 195 people work in our school system. College and university education is available just 30 miles to the south of Paso Robles. This is just one of over 20 churches in the city which open their doors to help fill the spiritual needs of those who live and visit here. Attractive, neat homes are found along the wide, clean, tree-lined residential streets. The property and the people of the city are protected by very efficient police and fire departments. Beautiful home sites are the rule rather than the exception in this area. 
streets and roads winding up into the hilly areas provide viewpoint locations for large and small homes. All this beauty has been here since the beginning of time. Very little of it has been altered by people. Well, maybe this 18-hole golf course surrounded by nice homes was made by people, but no mountains were moved to make it. The Salinas River, running right through the middle of Paso Robles, is 170 miles long. It is the largest underground river in the United States. Much of the year, no water shows on the surface of this upside-down river. Paso Robles has its own water system, and some of its water comes from wells along this river. There are two four million gallon water reservoirs located on hilltops on either side of the city. They provide a good supply of water at plenty of pressure to homes and industries and to the fire protection water system of the city. The city's wastewater treatment plant is new and thoroughly modern. It has a maximum capacity of three million gallons per day. The present peak loads are a little over one million gallons per day. Clean water standards are maintained with this plant for the water being returned to the river. The heavy traffic over our north-south and east-west highways which intersect at Paso Robles averages about 16,000 cars, trucks, and buses per day. One can easily understand why there is a thriving motel and restaurant business in Paso Robles. As the camera zooms out over the second four million gallon reservoir, we are able to see the airport in the distance. It is now our intention to take you on a scenic flight to show you points of interest and beauty within a 30 mile radius of our airport. Our takeoff is on runway number one, which heads nearly north. This runway is suitable for much larger types of aircraft. It is often used by business jets and air cargo transport. As we continue to climb away from the airport, we make a slight left turn to a northwest heading. We would like to tell you that Paso Robles is considered to be the recreational hub for the Central California coastal area. Nascimento Lake is less than 20 miles northwest of our city. This beautiful lake was created in 1956. The face of the dam can be seen at the lower left. The lake has 165 miles of shoreline. Good fishing, water skiing, picnicking, and camping are among its prime attractions. It has a total water surface of 5,380 acres. Nascimento Lake is just one of three lakes in this area. San Antonio Lake is just north of here, and Santa Margarita Lake is about 25 miles to the south of Nascimento Lake. Small wonder that with such tempting waters nearby, we find a boat building industry in the city of Paso Robles. The clear dry air of this area permits one at this altitude to see mountains more than 100 miles away. Many of the famous old back roads of California wind through these mountains and valleys. As we pass over the coastal mountains, we see the famous Hearst Castle. William Randolph Hearst collected construction materials for his dream castle from all over the world. 
and people from the world over come to see this unbelievable mountaintop castle. California Highway number one offers more than 200 miles of the most spectacular scenery to be found anywhere. A trip between San Luis Obispo and the Carmel and Monterey Bay area provides a never-ending scenic delight to people driving or flying along this coastal route. Highway number 46 passes through Paso Robles and over these beautiful coastal mountains and connects our city with highway number one and the towns and cities on the Pacific coast. Just south of Route 46 is the small oceanfront town of Cayucas. Whale Rock Water Reservoir can be seen in the hills behind the town. Several Paso Robles people have beach homes here. A little farther south is the city of Morro Bay with its world famous Morro Rock at the entrance of their very fine harbor. Marinas here provide hundreds of slips for the boats of fishermen and water sports fans. Now comes an important scene. We are approaching the new Diablo Canyon atomic power plant. One generator will be producing electric power to the lines by late 1975, and a second generator will be in operation during 1978. Power lines from here pass within three miles of the Paso Robles Airport. Ten miles southeast of Paso Robles, we see the coastal range of mountains with Morro Rock and the blue Pacific Ocean in the distance. This mountain range keeps our city practically free of fog and helps make this area one of the few remaining smog-free parts of California. Paso Robles has been called the barley and almond capital of the world. The beautiful scene below is a combination of green barley fields and the light pink blossoms of the almond orchards. It should come as no surprise that one of the many industries in this city is a large almond processing plant. Grapes of excellent quality have been growing in these parts for many, many years. New vineyards are being planted in our area to supply an increasing demand for fine grapes. There are four excellent wineries located within 10 miles of Paso Robles. Your table can be graced and your food enhanced by some of the finest wines to be obtained anywhere. So, bon appetit. There are large ranches all around the Paso Robles countryside. They are busily engaged in raising beef and dairy cattle, chickens and turkeys, sheep and horses, and they are producing a wide variety of fruits and vegetables and grain crops. This is really a beautiful and productive part of the world. It's a good place in which to live and work and play. Most of the good and worthwhile things in life can be found in Paso Robles and the nearby area. Now then, let's end our scenic flight and go back to the airport. There it is, runway number one. 6,000 feet of welcome mat, just waiting for all who wish to come. The trend of some industries today to locate in less crowded areas is known to be a benefit to the employees and to the industry. And there are certainly benefits for the smaller community. Economic development and growth is clearly linked to the presence of a good municipal airport. So, come on in and land. Stay an hour, stay a day, a week, a year, or better still, locate here permanently. Under present federal and state regulations governing airport use and expansion, you can be sure 
that a business or industry located on this developing airport will enjoy a safe, orderly growth with us. If you do locate here, you will learn for yourself the true meaning of Welcome to Paso Robles.